You bet. I'm uh, Captain Joel Stewart, United States Navy. I am the commander of Naval Beach Group 1, and presently I am the commander, Joint Logistics Over the Shore during Balakatan 23. Uh, this is not my first time in the Philippines. My first time in the Philippines was 1989, uh, and been back several times since then. Uh, pulled into Subic on a destroyer. Uh, have been able to be out and see the Philippine countryside. Uh, my experience here in Casa Guron has been uh, as expected. Uh, the countryside is lovely, the people are friendly, and uh, we are excited to be here conducting Balakatan. Uh, it's been phenomenal working uh, with our Filipino partners. Uh, Balakatan means shoulder to shoulder, and that's exactly what we've been during this operation. Uh, we've relied upon the Filipino Navy for not only waterborne security, but also movement of cargo. Uh, we have partnered with the uh, Filipino Army to provide our force protection here in camp. Uh, we have employed Filipino SEALs to provide waterborne security. Uh, Filipino Seabees have been uh, assisting in camp construction. And uh, throughout the entire process, we've been in step with our Filipino partners, all of us growing as we conduct the exercise. The biggest takeaway is that our partners are very capable. Uh, they have capabilities we do not have. We have capabilities and capacity they don't have. And by working together, we can capitalize on those to achieve our mission here. Well, CJ Lots is joint logistics over the shore. And what that means is an administrative movement of cargo, liquids, and equipment over the shoreline, so offloading ships and delivering that cargo to a base camp for further distribution. That is what we have done here in uh, Casa Guron. We have uh, brought our team in, built up a 400-man camp, brought in two pre-positioning pre ships, then uh, proceeded to build out our camp, build up our craft to move the equipment from the ships here to the beach. Then uh, we've, we've accomplished that. We have mission completion. And now we are backloading those ships with all that same equipment. Uh, this just demonstrates our ability to conduct logistics operations without a port. There's, we're going over an open beach here, and that is a key capability that we need to have for any sort of either future uh, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief response, or uh, any other military operations we want, want to engage in where we don't have access to a port facility. It matters significantly during this because we are demonstrating a capability in an austere and expeditionary fashion that by exercising this now, we show that we can go pretty much anywhere we need to to deliver this sort of uh, logistics supply, again, to support uh, both uh, military and non-military missions. There are many real-life scenarios this apply to, as I mentioned earlier, uh, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. Uh, anybody looking saw that much of the equipment we offloaded is actually earth-moving and terrain-shaping equipment, not necessarily combat equipment. Uh, combat equipment can certainly be moved, but in order to uh, deliver logistics, you have to have uh, both uh, an infrastructure to support it and a means to get it to where it has to go. So that whether that be over roads or by sea, um, we have demonstrated here the ability to do both. Uh, we could push logistics out to other beaches if we needed to, or push it out via roads here. Uh, and that is applicable in any uh, situation where we may not have access to ports. Absolutely, it's been an uh, absolute honor to command a team of soldiers, sailors, and Marines in conducting this in an austere, remote, isolated location and we not only achieved the mission but we achieved it on time uh, without injury without breaking equipment uh, and experimented with some new capabilities that will be used uh, you know what I experiment with some new capabilities that will give us operations or advantages in future operations so each of the services comes here with uh, different skill sets. Uh, the Seabees have done what Seabees do. Their motto is can do and they can did. The camp was built in uh, record time. Where I'm standing, this was 
uh, grasses and low shrubbery that we've been able to remove off the side of an airfield. There's an air ramp over here to my right. Uh, the Seabees came in with that building expertise. The Army came in with their expertise in tracking and moving uh, large quantities of material and supplies over great distances, but even more so, uh, I want to highlight the Army's watercraft. Uh, I don't want to call them sailors. They are mariners. They are licensed mariners to operate their watercraft. Uh, we had some issues with our Navy craft and uh, fuel. The Army was able to uh, help fill in that gap. It was a critical uh, moment when the Army not only operated their craft, but they were also able to operate some of my Navy craft and move material that we couldn't move with ours because of bad fuel. Uh, so that capability was a game changer. And then the Marines come in and the Marines brought the um, drivers to operate the equipment to offload the vessels. So without each of the moving pieces there, I wouldn't have got the entire uh, mountain of material that's sitting at the other end of this runway moved if we had not had the expertise of the Army, the Navy, and the Marine Corps to do it. So uh, our presence here in Casa Guron has been an opportunity to learn about the community here, learn about the area while we conduct this mission. To interact with the community, we have used local contractors to supply our life support requirements for the camp. Uh, our daily food is cooked in the local town and brought in. Um, we have interacted with, uh, with retailers that are operating just outside the perimeter, uh, selling food and some souvenirs. And throughout this, I want to show that we are conducting this operation for the combined defense of Luzon as we have a, uh, an obligation to do based on our treaties with the Philippines. Uh, we are back this year in this Balakatan bigger than ever before. And I think that demonstrates to our Filipino allies how committed we are to this partnership.